Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats and More. This is my YouTube channel. Today, of course, is Monday and we are in Monday Moments. I welcome you to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats. I am working on a quick project today. Um, I, I am into fall and children are back to school. I don't know what your schedule is like. I'm sure with everyone's busy schedules, we look for something uh, kind of quick and nice treat. Um, and I'm today going to be making some strawberry cookies and I'm making them from cake mix, um, which is kind of kind of cool because I'm not having to do a lot of measuring. There is a little bit of measuring, but of course, you know, we are amazing people, so we will, we will measure. I welcome all of our new subscribers and those of you who have been with me for a while I do enjoy cooking and I hope to hear from you and hear how you like this recipe. Today I'm going to begin. In the past, I've always used Duncan Heinz, but I couldn't find the mix, uh, as you'll find in the grocery store, um, especially during certain seasons. They'll be, be hard to find certain uh, ingredients. And so uh, the cake mix I'm using today is Pillsbury, and I'm using this strawberry. The moist supreme strawberry. And so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Of course, the recipe is in the link. And so I put together the strawberry. It is a nice, cool day for me today. So, because I am into fall, as those of you who know me know, I enjoy fall. So I'm gonna break up the egg a little bit. Uh, ingredient, uh, of course, my eggs are room temperature, make a little bit of a well. And I have oil that I'm adding already. You can add um, vegetable oil, canola oil, and uh, sometimes I've added melted butter. It is up to you what you have. And so I'm gonna stir this together and I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. And I'm gonna stir this and we'll be back. Well, I'm back and my batter is very thick, very thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've scraped down to the bottom. I want to make sure you get all that um, cake mix off the side and under the bottom. Sometimes it tries to hide and folds, but we have to get all of that out. And I already have a pre-prepared pan with parchment paper. And then um, I'm going to spray a little of this because I removed my ring so that I can get the dough like I want it. Uh, it's going to be sticky, and I want to get them about the same size. So I'm going to just keep on doing that. And that, um, the vegetable spray works wonders. Helps it not to stick. But of course, you still need to um, not keep it on your hands too much. Because sugar draws sugar. I'm going to keep on until I get them all done, and then I'll be right back. I wanted to share with you also, I have some chocolate chips that I'm going to add, but I don't want chocolate chips in all of them, so I'm just going to put some on the side, and I'm going to roll a cookie with chocolate chips. You can use chocolate chips. You can use nuts. Um, I'm going to use some chocolate chips because I like Strawberry and chocolate together seem to make a, a nice treat for me. And just put a few chips in there. I'm enjoying the weather. I hope you are too. I remember the back to school days with our children and it was so much fun 
um, <laughs> not the night before, you know, making sure you had all, everybody's name on the backpacks. And our children have been out of school a little bit here. So we want to um, also want to put some chocolate chips on the outside. So as I'm making this treat, I'm thinking about my children and the back to school days. Um, someone once said that when they're little, they're on your hands. And when they get big, they're on your heart. They are. Your children are always your children. And um, the younger days, it can be very um, difficult because, you know, you got to run and do, especially parents that have to work and uh, raise a family. But I want to encourage you. It's it's. Even though there are a lot of sleepless nights, there are some difficulties, there may be illness, there may be a lot of things. But when the children are little, it's very different. As they get older, um, you find that the days that seem to be very long with a crying baby uh, or a colicky or a sick baby or one that has a temperament that doesn't want to rest, it may seem very hard, and it is. I just want to encourage you that it doesn't last always. So I'm getting my cookies together, and I'm going to put them in the oven. I also have some toffee chips that I'm going to add. I mean, butterscotch. I'm just going to add a, a few of those. I like butterscotch, but... I like chocolate better. So, I'm gonna take these and put them in the fridge until they get hard, probably about half hour, 45 minutes, and I'll be back. Well, I'm back with our cookies, and I have here the ones with the chocolate chips and the nuts, and then I have some frosting left over from previous things I've done. So I just put some uh, strawberry and chocolate chip on top of that. And I use the chocolate chip smeared it with some nuts. And then I put lemon and um, strawberry frosting on these to make uh, uh, strawberry lemonade. They're fine by themselves. I just wanted to show you how easy they are to make and how tasty they are by themselves. But I added some I added frosting. You know, you don't have to do that. Together we can do this. I hope you get to make it. The three ingredients plus my vanilla. You don't even have to have the vanilla. Just do you and we'll talk soon. You have a good one.